Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to Dealing with Materials Data. In this course, we are going to look at uh, how to collect, analyze and interpret materials data. And uh, this is the first module. This is a module uh, for introduction to the R programming language. And uh, we have been working with R in the past few sessions and we have been uh, looking at how to enter data into R and uh, then work with it, uh, manipulate it, plot it and so on and so forth. So, in this session we are going to learn how to import data into R. Uh, so, data input can be done into R like we learnt earlier by typing it in in the R console, uh, but sometimes that is not the best way uh, to enter data into R and in those cases um, we can import from other sources. Uh, this becomes important because uh, sometimes the data uh, for example might be already in digital form. You, you might have done an experiment and the data comes and it is stored uh, in the computer in digital form and so you want to take that data and work with it and you do not want to be manually entering all the data and sometimes the data could be very big. So, manual entry is uh, time consuming also it is prone to errors. So, the most reliable and easy method to enter data uh, from such sources is the CSV file format. CSV stands for comma separated value and uh, you can take uh, the data which is generated uh, and, and stored in other formats um, into CSV using either uh, uh, Excel uh, or using uh, LibreOffice or any other commercial software for example. Uh, and uh, we will use CSV file import extensively. Again there is an optimization point uh, which is that uh, reading and writing CSV files might be costlier, it might be easier uh, and much more faster to use F read and F write. Uh, this again is an optimization uh, point regarding the R programming which we are going to uh, not discuss in this course, uh, but it is better to be aware and if you do anything at much larger scale and you find that uh, the speed uh, of execution becomes a bottleneck for you, I think these are some of the places where you should uh, look and, and improve your code. Okay, so, in these tutorials we are not going to discuss code optimi optimization and efficiency. Uh, if possible I will indicate, but, but we will not do too much of it. Okay, so, we are going to now consider uh, the uh, elements data and uh, I have saved it as a CSV file and we are going to import and plot using ggplot2. Up to this we have done. But what has not been done is that can we save the plot as a PDF file. So, that is also something that we are going to learn in this session. So, we are going to look at a CSV file uh, data and we are going to import it into R and we are going to use ggplot2 to plot it and then we are going to save the data, the, the plot that we made using ggplot as a PDF file. So, that is the exercise. And uh, saving plot as a PDF file is rather straightforward. So, you have to say that okay, you want to save as a PDF file and you have to tell where and what is the name of the PDF file and then you can give all your plot commands and uh, then after that is complete you switch off uh, this uh, device that, that PDF you close so that you can get back to your uh, regular um, uh, console to, to look at the plots. So, that is what we are going to do in this session. So, I am going to start by showing you the elements.csv. So, like I said it is uh, uh, CSV files can be opened in uh, LibreOffice. So, I do not know if the data is very clear. So, let us uh, let all and format text. Uh, 
don't know how to increase the size. Right. So, this is how the data looks like, right. So, it is the same data element, crystal structure, density, melting point, and the elements are listed uh, 5 FCC, 5 BCC, and 5 HCP. So, this is the data and it is stored as elements.csv. Okay. So, what we are going to do is to first import data into R, and for doing that, okay, so I need to know. Uh, which directory I am there, okay. So, I need to see, so, so now I am uh, dealing with materials data. So, I need to import the data, the way we import is as follows. So, I am going to say uh, read into this uh, variable x uh, or elements, yeah, to x and read dot csv, so that is a command from where, from the data directory and which file elements.csv. Okay. So, it has read as you can see x is 15 observations of 4 variables. Okay. So, we now, now know that okay, we have got the right uh, uh, data. Right? So, so it is the same element crystal structure density melting point. Okay. Now, let us do the uh, plotting. Okay, so here we go. So we invoke the library ggplot2, and we say, okay, x is the data, and the aesthetics is x is density, y is melting point, color should be according to crystal structure, and we change the x limit and y limit, and the geometry is point. So, you can see several layers I am building. So, this is the first one, then the next layer is for the x range, next layer is for the y range, next layer is for the plots points, uh, the geometry of the plotting and then the next uh, uh, layer is for the label and label is again from uh, x data using the element information and this is how the label is put. So, this we now are comfortable with. Okay, so, we have it the density versus melting point and you can see all the, uh, the, the BCC, FCC, HCP, etc. Uh, are colored differently and the points and the writing everything is in the corresponding uh, color. So, you can get the plot. Now, we want to um, save this file. Okay. So, for saving it what do we do? Uh, we are going to, so I need to know if there is a directory called figures uh, here. So, let me see, okay, there is no directory called figures, so it is better to make a directory called figures here. Okay. So, now I am going to save, so I am going to say PDF to okay so figures is the directory where i want to save this figure so it is elements data so let's say elements data uh, plot dot pdf let's say that is the uh, pdf file uh, so so that is the pdf We are going to say this is the PDF file we want to generate. Okay. Now, we are going to uh, put this uh, command like we did earlier. So, we are going to say, okay, so this is the okay. and then we are going to say device dot off. Um, okay, so I have to give. Okay, so now let us go check if we have made this figure. Yes, there is this uh, PDF file that is available now, and you can open it and you can see that uh, the figure is uh, um, stored. 
right. So, we can so you can see density versus melting point and all the data points and differently colored. So everything is nicely now stored as a uh, PDF file, so which you can then use for other purposes. Okay. So so this is how the saving is done, and so okay. So so this is to import data and to plot data. Uh, we will have some more exercises in importing and plotting data in the next uh, session, thank you.